What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. Today we're going to be taking a look at Team of the Week for Week 9. Now, I think EA got the offensive side of the ball right with Jared Goff because that it, it was just a look, man. It was a nightmare on Elm Street for them Giants, man. And I'm really disappointed in uh, Ben McAdoo, aka Ben McAdoo, um, because all he's good at is suspending his cornerbacks. Like I don't really know what he's doing, uh, but Jared Goff appears to have decent stats. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's about time they gave every somebody else other than Todd Gurley some love on the Rams. So I feel really good about this for Jared Goff. Um, he did have a really, really good game. And as bad as people may think the Giants are, I know that um, well, they, they just reinstated Janoris Jenkins. But their, their secondary is still pretty decent regardless of all the things that, you know, I guess Eli Apple's kind of not living up to expectations right now. Or maybe the whole team is just quitting on their coach. I don't know what it is, but... All in all, the Rams just went out and just did whatever they wanted to do the entire game. And um, kudos to the, you know, EA Sports for, you know, giving one, giving one to Jared Goff. Now, look, it's weird because Carson Wentz could have actually won this also. But he just he just had a limited time card the past weekend. I'm pretty sure the Eagle fans are like, yo, we still want him to get another one. Like, Eagle fans are crazy. But all in all, it makes sense that they gave it to Jared Goff. Like, overall, like, looking at the whole game with the ridiculousness that was going on, I think Jared Goff played very, very well. I'm pretty sure you can make arguments for somebody else to get it. But um, I really like that Jared Goff, you know, got this card. Uh, now, leading off with Brandon Linder, uh, right guard of the Jaguars. Obviously, you know, didn't they bend? The, okay, uh, uh, what is his name? For Fournette. Leonard Fournette allegedly missed team activities or a meeting, and he was benched. Um, Doug Marone later got into an argument with Blake Bortles. I don't know. You know what's funny? Blake Bortles is a bum. And it says a lot about a coach when certain players can say whatever they want. Like, it was very much. I watched it live. It was a heated exchange. And that's why I have to give a lot of these other head coaches credit uh, as far as control of their team. It's not like saying that they, they run in, like, you know, a crazy form where it's like a, a dictatorship. But it's all men. And men should respect men. And you should respect the position. And I understand certain things get heated. But I don't think I've ever seen anybody go wild on Bill Belichick. Um, you know... You know, Mike Tomlin, I see him go, you know, maybe sometimes you might get a little bit of back and forth action, but never anything that looks outright disrespectful. Um, th there's a lot of things that I, I just don't, you just expect other coaches to not have happening. And, um, you know, I, I don't know what's really happening with the, with that whole Jaguar situation, but the Jaguars are able to, to be successful even without uh, Leonard Fournette. So he better watch himself and start doing what he's supposed to do and apply himself. But um, Brandon Linder, shout out to him, man. Dudes came out, did what they wanted to do. Alshon Jeffrey, this guy set the tone against Talib. Now, the Broncos were annihilated by the Eagles. So I can't argue with any Eagle fan that says that this whole list right here of 12 cards should be Eagles. Like, I'm not even going to sit up here because they are fascinating me with what they They statistically beat on the number one secondary in the league with Carson Wentz. Alshon Jeffrey, he did a little inside step and Talib went for it. I don't know what he's doing. He reminded me of Asante Samuel. Like, why are you trying to jump everything, bro? What are you doing right now? You know that you're not supposed to be playing. You're supposed to be playing a little bit more safe because on the offensive side of the ball, you got Brock Osweiler, bro. You got Brock Osweiler out there, bro. Like, you can't be making mistakes, Talib. Whatever. Alshon Jeffrey, I was really disappointed, though, that they only gave him an 87 speed. But this is picking up right where EA Sports left off last year because he's always been slow. Um, so, and you know, I guess he's like more of a possession receiver. I can't really knock that. It is what it is. Um, I don't expect this week. I don't expect Carson Wentz to be, uh, well, not Carson Wentz, but Jared Goff to be going for more than 500K uh, regardless. And if he's going for more than that, you probably should get another quarterback because even with all the stats and everything like that that they're doing, I don't think it really matters. Jared Cook was balling. Um, he he was um, pretty much a safe haven for, De for you know for Derek Carr uh, during the Raiders game. So I got to go ahead and give them some credit with that. Um, you know, I, I really thought that after what they released him from the uh, Packers that I didn't know what else he was going to be able to do. And he's actually out there really balling. Alvin Kamara, he lets you know why Sean Payton, after he got the death stare from um, Adrian Peterson, why he let him go. This dude balled out. I want to check his speed, though, just to make sure that EA is just doing whatever they want. Let me just see what's going on right now with the speed. 89, 92 Excel. Mm, I, I, okay, I'll give him that. The 92 Excel I like. 89 speed. Uh, once you get out in front, no matter how fast you are, you're going to get caught from behind anyway. So I don't really know how to feel about that. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know where I'm going with that. We got... I, I don't know. But I do like his Excel, though, because he was looking very, very fast. Terrence Williams, 
He, I don't know if it's going to be about that time for the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys fans, check in. Is it time for you guys to like go past Des Bryant and just let Terrence Williams be the guy? Because as long as he's catching the ball and not making dumb mistakes like last year when he didn't go out of bounds, it just seems like he's more of an electrifying receiver in my opinion. You know, watching him play, I actually enjoy it a lot more now than watching Des Bryant. It just seems that like Des Bryant is becoming too much of a complainer. Um, and, you know, it's taken away from his whole aura that he used to have when he was on the field. I don't know. I don't really like this card, though, um, even with the 88 speed. But if you're looking for, like, a, a you know, a burner and a guy that's probably going to do stuff like in salary cap, you know, with an acceleration of 90 and 88 speed, go ahead and compare it to some of the guys I have. You know, OBJ, he just outright a goon, so I can't really do that. Demarius Thomas, you know, 90 speed, but, like, the Excel situation... The Excel situation, 90 and 91, he could probably get a step on somebody. You know what I'm saying? If they're not running cover for a drop, because cover for a drop just locks up the entire field. Cover for a drop actually still locking me up right now. I can't even move around my house. So cover for a drop is pretty dangerous. Now, looking at the 70 overalls, I'm not really a fan of it. I did like what Chris Ivory did for the Jags, though. With Fournette being out, he stepped up pretty big. I did like that. Um, other than that, Drew Stanton, I, did, I do like him better. Going forward right now, he's not as good overall when you look at what Carson Palmer was able to do for the Cardinals. But if we're being honest about it, Carson Palmer has been washed up for at least two years now. Probably more. Um, I like them going with new, fresher individuals. Uh, Drew Stanton by no means is like, you know, a top-tier quarterback. But I do like that even with uh, Carson Palmer being injured, that they have somebody that's formidable. I don't know if his throw accuracy deep is that bad, though. I saw him make a couple deep, uh, deep, decent throws. So, um, with that being said, you know, overall with this, this, these, this, it wasn't really a spectacular, like in your face team of the week uh, type of, um, you know, I gotta go buy a pack type week. But I give them a lot of credit for showing some love to the Rams, man. You know, they're out there balling. Now, going to the de defensive side of the ball, Zach Brown is an outright goon. Okay, now his card, you guys can go ahead and check the stats on Mudhead. It's a pretty decent card. Um, he is, I think he's only at 86 speed though. Somebody check in and let me know if that's correct. Cause I looked at it briefly. Um, but his other attributes are very, very good. Now I'm not going to replace the individual that I have now over there. I have, um, uh, Michael Kendricks. I'm not going to replace him. He's staying where he's at, but I do like this card. I actually do. Uh, with everything else that comes along with the speed. Um, this guy right here is a 90 overall. What's his own coverage? 86. Do not buy this card. Um, just wait and lurk for um, Zach Brown or buy packs or whatever you got to do. But he's he's an 86 zone. It's a waste of time. You know, just look at the zone coverage. If it's not 91 and above, just go past it. If you can't afford it, um, you know, and you got to get lesser cards for now while you grind, go ahead. But if you're spending your coins, do not buy a don't buy a corner under 91 zone. Okay, Jabal Sheard. Uh, let's go ahead and check him out real quick. Let's see what he's doing. Um, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, they did beat the they they beat the Texans without Deshaun Watson. That's not a surprise. Um, 90 block shedding is huge though, and finesse. This is a good card. That block shedding and finesse moves. Not only are they gonna jump over your old line and, and try to like choke your quarterback out, he's gonna get off and spin move exactly when you hit the corner because that finesse moves is straight cheese. Hit power not too bad either. Now with the most recent patch, we are seeing more fumbles. So if you were looking to get a right outside linebacker. You could possibly use this guy on the D-line instead with those stats. I wouldn't put him at linebacker because I, I want my linebackers 85 speed and above. Um, Chris Law. Okay, the Eagles. We're back to the Eagles. You see, again, the Eagles defense and the things that are going on right now, you can't knock that these guys are involved. There's a card every week for these guys. You know, Chris Law, he's probably going to be like 70-something speed. Yeah, of course, but uh, his block shedding is pretty low. I don't like this card. This card is actually garbage. Um, I wouldn't get it, but I just appreciate that. EA is showing the Eagles love because they're really out there balling very, very hard. Uh, Bayard, um, hmm. I, I, I don't know about this right here, bro. What's his zone coverage? Oh, okay. Your zone coverage is 81. Not. Like, bro, what are you doing out there, dog? Like, don't even come up in my face if you under 91 zone, bro. Get up out my face. Tyvon Branch, really? They gave him a card. That's weird. That, that's really weird to me. And only the 88 speed. That's the, that's the favorite number. Oh, what? A 74... I guess, yeah, hit power, yeah, he's, mm, I, I don't know, 74 though, mm, I don't really like that hit power action, but zone coverage is garbage and man coverage is garbage, so unless you're doing it because you got some of the cards out of the pack to complete the set for Zach Brown, I would definitely stay away from a lot, from a lot of these defensive players, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, 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 Ruben Foster, 
Okay. Okay, they're showing some love to 49ers. You guys may be over whatever amount of games you played. You're over, but this card is trash. Yeah, I don't know if this is really love. That's like more hate. They might as well even make him a card, bro. Like, these cards are wild. And Dwight Freeney, he, he got to be in the 70s. I remember when this dude was a goon back in, like, what, Madden 12, 13? This dude was an outright goon. How long am I buying that? What, what is this? 79 speed? No, we ain't doing that. Um, so pretty much that's all the defensive. And if you're going to buy packs and you want to go ahead and get that Zach Brown, he definitely, I, I approve him. He's definitely approved with the stats that I saw on Mudhead. I just got to double check with that 86 speed thing. But once again, shout out to Jared Goff for winning with the Rams. And I just want to touch on one last thing. Make sure that weekly you're doing your solos, the team of the year solo right here. You should be doing them. All right. Um, once you get to that 15 mark, you're going to be able to get something that's going to be very, very nice for you towards the uh, team of the year player. So again, if you're new to my channel, you're going to want to go to your solos and you're going to find it. Uh, depending on how many solos you find uh, that you have, it should be right around there. You're going to get one pack that's going to have a team of the week player and you're going to get one that's a team of the week collectible item. All right. You want to make sure you do this every week. And that's pretty much all that it is for the team of the week, week nine. I definitely, you know, I want to see other players that we really wanted uh, that had spectacular weeks get decent cards. Deshaun Watson's football outsider card is really garbage. But the um, the Carson Wentz card that he got, the football outsider was really, really good. So, um, you know, we are getting a little bit more. We have to wait to see exactly how it works out. But I would just like to see a little bit more uh, people get love during the uh, Team of the Week uh, promos. But that, it is what it is. Let me know what you're thinking about it. Definitely leave a questions, leave comments right there. You guys chop it up. I'll see you guys and girls next time. Enjoy, sub and share. One love.